everyone, it's Silver Wings here and I got a package in the mail today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. This is coming from Provident Metals. Alright, so what we have here is, oh my, it's the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And... When I first looked at it, I thought, oh my gosh, it's damaged, but that's the way it is. It has this little, <laughs> it has this, I don't know what that is. I guess it's just part of the design. Uh, here, let me, you can see it that way. Did you see, when I first saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with it. But nope, that's how it is. So that's the box that the um, coins are going to be going in. And uh, here is the box, and it is, you know, just basic cardboard, basic cardboard, and uh, the little, for the four coins, four coppers, and for the bar in the middle. So I just got one of these. I thought, you know, it would be nice to just put the collection together in one of these. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. And let's go ahead and open up the packet. All right, so this packet is all right. So in the packet, I bought I bought four. I'm getting four of the coppers. Um, just so that I can put, you know, sets of these together. Um, not necessarily with the box, but um, I just wanted to have these with the copper uh, round. And so let's see if I put these there together. So there's the round, there's the copper round. And so I was able to pick up, I picked up four of each. So eight capsules come with the box um, for the eight coins, and um, yeah, then four. I just got four of each, and so that is the the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So anyway, that's it, and uh, I hope you enjoy the quick little mini video of the four horsemen. Hello everyone, Silver Wings here, and today I'm going to bring you part two of the Horsemen special that I'm doing, um, basically about uh, who the four horsemen are in the series of the four horsemen. So um, I was very interested in these coins because I happen to be reading a book uh, about the book of Revelation, and um, I remember reading a little bit about the four horsemen. So. I thought, wow, this is really exciting. So I thought I wanted to share that little bit of information about who the four horsemen are. First of all, uh, the story of the four horsemen will be found in the book of Revelation in the Bible. It is the last book of the Bible, and it uh, the four horsemen will start uh, right around chapter 6 on. Okay, So I have some information written down here, and I've got the coins, so wanted to start by showing the coin here. Um, it says White Horse of Conquest. Um, and then on the back we have the four horses representing the four horses of the four horsemen. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to be as quick as I can to get the information um, out without making this uh, long video. So I wrote everything down, so I'm going to kind of follow my notes here. So the book of Revelation in the Bible is a book on end times. 
um, about the end of the world, it was um, there was a vision that was given to the Apostle John, which is one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. And all the apostles had been killed. But in the end, John was the last one, and he, he could not be killed. They could not kill him. So they go, went ahead and uh, just kind of put him out there in the island of Patmos. And they just left him out there to die, basically. And while he was out there, he was given a vision. Uh, Jesus Christ spoke to him and gave him a vision. And um, he went to heaven, and it gives you the information, he went to heaven. And as he was in heaven, he was watching what was happening um, basically on earth at the end of the world. Okay, so what happens is um, the four horsemen takes place in what is called the tribulation. The tribulation is a period of seven years. And this happens right after the rapture. So the Bible talks about the rapture, about a time when Jesus comes and takes all all his all the believers in him, um, takes them up like a thief in the night. No one ever knows when that day will be. Jesus says that not even he knows, but only the Father knows when that day comes. He comes and they basically just uh, disappear from the earth and they, they go up to heaven. Well, during this time, right after that happens, the tribulation takes place. And that's where the whole uh, four horsemen come in. The tribulation is a period of seven years. There's, um, there are several judgments um, that happen during those seven years. And there are three parts. There are the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the seven bowls. So um, what happens is in heaven, um, Jesus uh, has the scroll. He's the only one worthy of opening the scroll. And he opens up the scroll. And the first four seals on those seven seals and that scroll have to do with the horsemen. So every time they see one of these horsemen come out, it represents something that is happening on the earth. So the first four of the seals are the four horsemen and we will go through each one. Now the first one that we have here as we saw it says the white horse of conquest. So let's let's um, uh, get some information about him. So it says here the first horseman is a white horse with a bow. Um, the Bible says he has a crown on and he is sent to conquer. Um, he is basically known as the Antichrist, deceiver to many, and he is, um, he is basically conquering. Um, he will be a world leader during an economically tough time. He will be the greatest peacemaker. He, of course, this will all be temporary, so he will be a wonderful leader, and then, um, you know, the claws come out after that. Um, then it says here that the second horseman comes, and the second horseman, now there's a fiery red horse, and on him sits uh, the person who takes peace from the earth. He is given a great sword, which represents combat. So this peace that the first horseman um, temporarily deceives many by saying, you know, he's going to bring peace to the world. Now, of course, we have number two horseman, and he's coming to take that piece away by um, war. Okay, then we have, I'm going to move this up a little bit, the third horseman. The third horseman is on a black horse, and he comes in with a pair of scales in his hand representing famine. Um, the Bible mentions that um, a quart uh, a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius, so representing famine. The fourth horseman is a pale horse. Now, um, in uh, Greek, uh, with the Bible, when it was uh, originally written in Greek, the word that was used was chloros, which means um, it's basically like chlorine. It means a sickness, uh, a greenish-yellow color. Uh, representing sickness and he will be representing death and Hades followed with him and power is given to him 
over one-fourth of the earth through a sword, through hunger, and through death. Okay, so those are the four horsemen. Um, more of the story can be found on Revelation chapter 6 on. Um, I got some of this information from the book that I was reading, and that's entitled Revelation, The Next Dimension by Greg Laurie. And Greg Laurie was a pastor that was invited to attend the inauguration of uh, Donald Trump. So um, he's written lots of books, and um, this is one book that I've been reading on him. And it gives you a lot of information on the book of Revelation. It's not a very easy book to understand, but um, that's why I'm reading this book. But it makes everything very clear as to, you know, what everything means. Um, because, you know, when you read it, you don't know what are the seven seals, what are seven trumpets, what are seven bowls, what does that all mean? So it's kind of breaking it all down. So that's the breakdown of the four horsemen um, on the coin. So it's going to be very interesting to see what these um, coins are going to look like. Uh, so it should be an interesting series. So hope you enjoyed the information and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.